black woman born, sleeping with another nation, or married another nation, that's a great sin. Because these nations, they hate us as a people. That's right. They cannot stand us. Why? Because you so go blacks and Hispanics are the children of God. That's and right. And they all know it. They all know it. And I'm going to prove that to you. So maybe three. So this, this was a calculated plan from all the other nations. Hold up. So you're saying if we marry somebody outside of our nation, that's a sin? That's a sin. Outside yeah, of that you. nation right there, right? Anybody decide you marry, you're good. But if you go after the white woman, if you go after the Chinese woman, China woman, that's a sin. That's you got it, right? Everybody. Everybody. Do you ask don't every nation come from a black woman? Don't every nation come from a black woman? From a black woman? He said don't every nation come from a black woman. So what? So what's your point? So, even though we came from all black or black women, who was the black woman that we all came from? Do you know? I'm saying, who was the black woman? We say Eve. Okay, if it, if it was Eve, even though we all came from Eve, but God says I have a chosen people. Because when you read the Bible, Jacob and Esau came from the same mother. But God chose Jacob and rejected Esau. Does it matter? Read on, let the Bible read. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. This, this, this is the answer to your question. Read. When the Most High divided to the nation. God divided the nations. That's right. God divided the nations. Although all nations come from Eve, from Adam, that is not just Eve, because Adam is the one that bring up from the sea. All right? So all nations come from Adam. Good. Read on. Their inheritance. Their inheritance. God gave each nation their inheritance. Read on. When he separated the sons of Adam. When he separated the sons of Adam. That's right. As you can see, they said the, the sons of Eve. Because God only deals with the man. Right. right. That's right. God only deals with the man. That's right. Who's doing the separating? Who's doing the separating? Who's doing the separating? Who's separating the nations? <laughs> God, right? God. No, no, no. It's not that he said God. See, we got to let the scripture read. Read it again. When the most high divided to the nations. Well, who did that? We got that? We got to let the Bible speak. Yeah. It's not us saying it, the Bible okay. speaks. So can you read Matthew 28? We're not done yet, brother. Hold on. Read on. Their yeah, inheritance. All nations. When he separated Jesus the sons <laughs> of Adam. <laughs> Read, read that again. Read that again. They're not listening. They're not listening. They're not listening. They're not listening. Well, Testament don't do what the Testament is doing. Read on. No, no. I'm going to get back there and give me Romans 9. Right. You don't understand. You don't understand. Listen. That's what Jesus told you. Are you going to say something and run like a Christian? Right. Or are you going to stand here and listen? I'm asking you a question. Are you going to stand here and listen? Are you going to preach the word of God? Okay. Read Romans. Read Romans 9 and 13. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That's crystal clear. You don't understand the Bible. I got my Bible. Right. The nations right. that is talking about this. The Israelites that was scattered among all nations. I got my Bible. 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 That's right. Bible, though. Give me that. I got my Bible. Jesus said, "Preach to all, all nations." Jesus said, "Preach to all nations." Yeah. Yeah. Like, Jamaica, 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 I guarantee you he won't stay here. Listen, right. Your soul me more than this crap. You got it? Yeah. Your soul. Luke, chapter 20, verse 24. This is the reason why I said all nations. Listen. Luke, chapter 20, verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. This is Christ speaking about the nation of Israel. That the Israelites were going to be, that were going to fall by the edge of the sword when the Romans came to destroy Jerusalem. Listen. And shall be led away captive into all nations. So where will the Israelites be led away into? Uh, all all nations. nations. So that's why the disciples were sent to all nations, because Israel was going to be in there. Right. The Israelites were going to be the lost sheep that was going to be scattered among all the nations. These dumb Christians don't know anything. Reading the Bible and don't know what the hell he's reading. They don't even know who he is. 
Go ye therefore and preach to all nations. And they shall not fall one nation, by the all edge nation. of the all sword. One word. And preach shall be led away captive into all, all nations. nations. Now you understand why it's saying all nations. All because nations. the disciples were sent to the Israelites. Yeah, I'm you, I'm you already nations. understand I mean, it. Right there in the Bible. Teaching and preaching. Bible right Thank here too. That's why the Bible says precept Bible upon right precept. That's right. And you and you know why he's saying not all, all nations, but this is what Paul puts with the other nations. But when you read Acts, Paul says with his own mouth that I speak to the Jews and the other Israelite nations. He lives with all this life. He says this body will live with all this. This body goes to the dirt. That soul goes to you to God to be judged. Don't let man send you to hell. Hell is real. Corinthians Hell chapter is 11, verse Jesus 3. Give me songs about good understanding. Yeah. But I would have you know. We're reading in the New Testament what right. Paul said to the Israelites that was in the church of Corinth. Corinth is in Greece. Who was Paul speaking to Israelites that was in Greece? Right. He don't know that. Read. That the head of every man is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying. Having his head covered. Having his head covered. Dishonoreth his head. He's dishonoring Christ. Right. Because Christ is our head. Read it again. Stay with me. Every man praying or prophesying. Is he prophesying? You got the picture, right? So he's he dishonoring Christ. Come on here and right. tell you about the Bible. Right. Right. Give me Psalms. Mm. Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. This, this is the reason why he don't understand the Bible. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. A good understanding of the Bible. Have all they that do. His commandments. So how in the world you gonna come out and talk about you're keeping the that you understand the Bible and you don't keep the commandments? That's the reason why the people in the churches are confused. Yeah, that's why all outdoors. The Bible says the Bible. They all quote the church don't even teach you like y'all teach. There you go. That's the point. Okay, come on. Give me Acts 29. Your reason is talking like that is because the white man is doing that teaching the Bible. The Christian church. Yes, he's got right here. That's his God. That's why I say love everybody. But the Bible that never says love everybody. God doesn't even love everybody. So where does he get that? I love Jesus. I love this whole world. But if I hate my brother, I hate Jesus. Because the one who's teaching him is the white man. The white man is his God. These people, they don't follow the Bible. That's why we are dying in the, uh, in the streets. That's why we are number one in AIDS. Number one in incarceration, number one in everything evil. Why? Our people don't follow the Bible. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Now, as you can see, he's talking as if he loves God. He's talking Jesus. as if, you know, Jesus. he loves the Bible. That's why he's talking Jesus. about Jesus. That's what he's doing right Jesus. now, right? I love right. And Jesus. with your lips, do honor me. With his mouth, he's saying, oh, love God. Oh, I know Jesus. That's what he's doing. You can tell it. Read it, but God has him in the Bible. But I've removed their heart far from me. As the deacon just said, when you are, profi uh, when you are teaching, when you are prophesying, you cannot have your head covered. Right. He's dishonoring his head. He's a liar. He's dishonoring Christ. He's, he said that he's about Christ. That's literally who he's dishonoring. So, so that, makes it, that, that makes him what? A liar. Give me the first John 24. Hold that. Go back to that Corinthians again so it can be clear who he's dishonoring. Because he said he loved Christ, right? Let's see. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man reads. Verse 3, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. That the head of every man is Christ. Now the fourth verse. Verse 4, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. This, this is not a deep saying. This is easy to understand. You got it. We understand that. Jesus. That's easy to understand. Go back to the black or white man. For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth uh -huh. and with their lips 
to honor him. With his lips, he's not honoring God. With his lips, he's not honoring God. But read on. But have from who? Their heart. Far but his me. mind is not in the Bible. Because the Bible says a man is not supposed to prophesy with his head covered. That's what God says. Read on. And their fear toward me uh -huh. is taught by the precepts of men. By the precepts of who? The precepts of men. Who teach him the Bible? The white man. That's who set up the Christian church. That's the white man that's giving these laws. Give me first John 2 verse 4. The Lord said all souls are mine. First John 2 verse 4. First John. This is why we are dying. Follow the precept of the white man. Read on. First John chapter 2 verse 4. Read. He that saith, I know him. He that says, I know God. If you say that you love Jesus. If you say that you know God. Read. And keep it not his commandments. And do what? And keep it not his commandments. And if you don't keep the commandment God says, if you say you know God and you do not keep the commandment, what does God say? Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. He's lying. That's what he's lying. He's a damn liar, according to the Bible. That's what I that's what I want. We got again. He that saying I know him. He that says I know Jesus. Jesus. But he has a hat on his head. Yes, sir. Jesus said, take off the hat. The hat on my head. I, I got cornrows. I got feet on again. I don't got no wings to cross. He that saying I know him. I got no sneakers. I got the project and preach Jesus everywhere I go. It's about Jesus and laws. Not about him and laws. He has no bridges on. You know, he's a liar. This guy's lying. Why? Because the white man is the one that teaches him. Jesus said, go ye all to all nations. Not to John one nation. Six. Go to every nation that John, chapter 5, verse 46. Who is the creator? Not the black and white man. It's God the creator. He's the spirit. And she believed Moses. And the truth. And you believe Moses. Then this is Christ talking. Tell him why yet. Read again. John, chapter 5, Jesus verse 46. John, 5, 46. John, chapter 5, verse 46. Read. For had she believed Moses. Had these people believed Moses. Because our people never believed Moses. They never wanted, wanted to keep the laws, which is what this guy is doing. Read. Ye would have believed me. Ye would have believed me. You would have believed Christ. When Christ says what? Do not prophesy with a hat on your head. That's right. Do not prophesy with a hat on your head. Read that again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What well, I'm doing with that hat on again. Jesus is real. He is the truth. Moses. He is the this light. This is what Christ has said. Amen. This is Christ speaking. This is Jesus to Christ himself speaking. But Jesus Out of his own mouth. Moses, she Read it again. For had he believed Moses. If you if rebellious Israelites would have believed Moses, ye would have believed me. You would have believed me. Why? So For he said, wrote of me. Because so Moses said, hey, wrote about so me. Jesus that's right, that's right. what he's saying. So, so said, when hey, he records right. about the fringes, well, but Jesus that said, was hey, what he was talking about. Jesus All said, hey, of the laws right. like not eating pork. Jesus that's said, hey, what he's talking about. Jesus said, hey, All of the laws right. of the Bible, but we're supposed to Jesus keep those. Hey, people, right? Did no. you say that? Yeah. Yeah, but Romans did you not say that, right? did, 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 did not listen. But you said that. Read Romans 9 and 13 again. Romans did not listen. Verse 13. As it is written, as it is written in the Bible. When you read the Bible, you're gonna see this. When you read the Bible, you're gonna see what it says. Read. Jacob, have I love. God says, I love Jacob. Who's Jacob? The people on the side, the 12 tribes. God says, I love them. Read on. But Esau, Esau, who's Esau? The so-called white man. That's right. The so-called white man is Esau according to the Bible. That's right. Read. Well, I love the I love I Jesus. I hate him. Of what? Have I hate him? God says, I hated Esau. Right. That's what God says. That's but right. Let's move it. Malachi 1 verse 4. No, no, no. Jesus we don't. Real. There's more. Read. Jesus what real. shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is God unrighteous because he said, I love Jacob and I hated Esau? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is God unrighteous? Listen. God forbid. No, God is not unrighteous because he is a creator. Read. For he said to Moses. So now he's going back to Moses. He said, for he said the same thing to Moses. I will have mercy on who I will have mercy. God says, I'm going to have mercy on who I will have mercy. That's why God said, I took, I chose my son to go down and die for the nation of Israel. And I will have compassion on who I will have compassion. And I will have compassion on whom I choose to have compassion on. That's right. So then, it is not of him that willeth. So it doesn't matter how many churches the white man built. That's right. 
nor of him that run it, nor of him that try to run in the race to be God's people, but God that showeth mercy. It only accords to God, according to who he has mercy on. Read. For the scripture says, that Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, he don't even know who his neighbor is. Read it again. Love your neighbor for the scripture says, for the scripture says, what scripture? The Bible. Unto Pharaoh, even for this what the same purpose, have I raised thee up? Even for the same purpose, have you raised up Esau? That I might show your my power in thee. That I might exercise my power through him. Meaning that he's going to channel his anger through Esau. That's, That's why he was created. That's why he we don't know that. Amen. Read. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And when I do this, my name once again is going to be declared throughout all the earth. Why? Because he did the same thing to King Pharaoh. When he channeled his anger through Pharaoh, that's why it says, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. Because he raised up Pharaoh the same way. Now he did this white man the same way. That's what it's talking about. So our people are ignorant as they can be. And that's a shame. That's that. We feel sorry for the brother because what these churches have done to him and for the majority of our people, they're going to pay for that. I don't understand because you're coming out the Bible. It ain't like you're coming out your own exactly. mouth. Exactly. But, but you want to know something? You want to know why he's doing that? Come because a lot of people will believe him anyway. Don't come out the Bible a lot of people will believe him anyway because he sounds good. God said, so, that's why. Bible. So can God, so can God yeah. save you from cancer? He didn't Jesus save you from cancer. He kept saying God is Christ so love everybody. Christ came to save everybody. Let's see what Christ says with his own mouth. I read this. Let's see what Christ says with his own mouth. Brother, this don't be at this. Don't be The word of God. This is the word of God. Word of God. Read. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Oh, this is Christ talking. Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, Christ answered and said, I am not sent. I am not sent. I did not. I was not sent. But unto the Lord sheep of the house of Israel. Only to the last sheep of the house of Israel. Who's the last sheep of the house of Israel? The 12 tribes. The Israelites. So go black. Give me Jeremiah 15 and 6. Hold that. Jeremiah 15 and 6. Because he doesn't know what he's talking about. Because the white man told him. The white man is the one that told him. He's destroyed. But God says only the Israel, you should black and Hispanic are the lost tribes. That's the only one Christ died for. So when you see guys like that come talking out of his own mouth, you can know you know that he doesn't know what he's talking about. Read Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. My people has been lost sheep. Who's God's people? The Israelites. Right. The Israelites. Right. So called blacks and Hispanics. You are God's children. You are, you are the one that God, Christ came to die for. Acts 5.31. Because he's a damn liar. Can I ask you something, brother? Yeah. One, one second. Let me bring that over now. Listen to this. Acts 5.31. Him have God exalted. Him has God exalted. Who's him? Christ. With his right hand. Uh-huh. So be a prince. To be a prince. And a savior. And a savior. For to give repentance. To give repentance to Israel. No, to everybody. To Israel. No, to the white man. To Israel. To the Israelites. Nobody else. The Israelites are the ones that's gonna be saved. That's gonna be redeemed. Out of what? Captivity that we are here today. What's your question, brother? Um, they said that God has 92 names. But what would you say is the name of God? Revelation 19 that, this is God's name. You want to know God? Do this. Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. Uh -huh. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Uh -huh. And his name is called the Word of God. The what? The Word of God. The Bible is God's name. You want to know God? Keep the, keep the law. Well, don't sound. It's the um, Matthew 7. Matthew. I'm going to follow up to answer your question because I perceive I know where you're going. So let's see, let's see if this is going to help you out. Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, 
shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So how many names you said the most I had? 92. So if you recited all 92 of them, right. three. Mm. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Whether you call him Yahweh, whether you call him Jehovah, whether you call him God, the Almighty, Allah Shadya, whatever you call him. Just listen. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone that just merely says the quote unquote name of the Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Listen. But he that doeth the will of my father. But you have to be doing the commandments. What am I bringing out? That the concern should be you following the commandments. But why did we come over here in captivity? Not because we didn't know the name of God, because we broke God's laws. That's the reason why we're over here destroyed like hell now. So what do you think it's going to take to get it back? Christ didn't die on the cross because we forgot his name. Right. Christ died on the cross because we broke the laws. That's right. That's right. So that you can have the chance to keep the laws through Christ and get the kingdom. But see, our people want to sound deep. Oh, I know how to say Yahweh in Hebrew. I know how to say Alashadya. I know how to say this and that because they sound intelligent. But meanwhile, they're going to get put to death because they're not keeping the, they're not keeping the commandments. Read the whole thing again out of Christ's own mouth. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. But he that doeth the will of my Father. What does but mean? But. What does but mean? It's Not sure. everyone that saith, Lord, Lord, or Yahweh, Yahweh, Allah, Shadja, Allah, Shadja, shall say, shall what? shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it doesn't matter how much you say it, you're not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Read. But. But. See that word there? What does that word but mean? Only. Only. But he that doeth the will of my father. Are you willing to do the will? Are you willing to keep the commandments of the most high? Yes or no? I try my best. So. What do you think you have to do? What do you think is more important? According to what we just read here. Read on, read on, read on. Let, let the whole scripture read. But, uh, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Come on. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You got a lot of people that quote unquote know the name of God and they're breaking every law in the Bible. So what does it say there? Read that again. Many will say to me in that many, day, many, many of these brothers will come up to Christ and say, listen, we cast out devils in your name. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not prophesied in thy name? Allah Shadja, Allah Shadja, Yahweh, Yahweh, Elohim, Elohim, whatever language they want to use. Listen. And in thy name have cast out devils? And we cast out devils in your name. Listen. And in thy name done many wonderful works and in your name we did many, many wonderful works listen listen what christ the savior gonna tell them and then i will profess unto them then christ is gonna say unto those same brothers i never knew you i never knew you so how in the hell are you gonna get salvation if christ the savior turned his back on you he said i never knew you why because you did not keep the commandments this is plain and easy but our people are stiff-necked, hard-headed, and rebellious, and do not want to do what the Bible says. That's the problem. Read it. Read on. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Why? Because you're still in sin. That's what Christ said. So the hell with everybody's thoughts. The hell with everybody's mind and their understanding. We got to go by what the Bible says. That's right. Come on. Now, give me Exodus six. To answer your question, buddy. Exodus six and eight. Our forefather is Jacob. Our uh, forefathers is Abraham. Did they know God by his name? The demons will laugh at you when you get to hell. They're going to say, we will torment you forever. Now get out of my face. Because God Exodus chapter 6, verse 3. Jesus and I appear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. They knew God by the name of God Almighty. But my name Jehovah. How was I not known to them? So they didn't know Jehovah? So does that mean they're that's not saying? That's what I was going to say to you. Because that's the name he used. But Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob didn't know that. So what, what happens to them? 
if they are, if they are good, they meant to be saved. So what, what are you doing for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Because they was doing God's will. So that's all that matters. Like Jesus can just go out. That's all that matters. They teach people to hate. Some people teach our kids to love each other. They teach them to hate. It's wrong. One of the commandments is that idol that's around your neck. Oh, it's a sin. That's idol. It's a pure sin. We're supposed to love our neighbors. We used to teach our kids to love each other. Listen to this. Not to hate each other. Amen. Go your deathbed, a white man might say that. Go your deathbed, a white man might say that. That's how you saw that. Come back in chapter 2, verse 18. Psalms 138, verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple. I will worship toward thy holy temple. And praise thy name uh -huh. for thy loving, loving kindness. For thy loving kindness. And for thy truth. For thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word. God's word is magnified above the all thy name. Above all his name. You, you give God's word, that's above his name.